Now, one of the biggest names in artificial intelligence has quit his job at Google. Jeffrey Hinton, often referred to as the godfather of AI, left warning people about the dangers of the technology. Let's get more on it, should we? The eyes science correspondent, Stuart Ramsey. Uh, Stuart Ramsey, Stuart Ritchie, forgive me. Stuart Ramsey's one of ours. We've got a piece coming up from him in the next hour. Stuart, why is everybody talking about AI at the moment? Um, in the last few months, there's been a dramatic... Uh, um, advance in the power of um, AI in various different ways, most prominently the chatbots, uh, ChatGPT has gone through various different iterations in just in the last few months, and uh, also in a whole range of other capabilities, uh, video um, uh, making, uh, making videos from text, uh, making pictures that look very realistic, like that one of the Pope you might remember wearing the, the puffy puff jacket. Coach, yeah. yeah, yeah. So that I mean that's just a a tiny hint of what's to come uh, in terms of the, the realism of the stuff that AI could produce. What should I be most scared about? Well, you should be most scared about, um, Geoffrey Hinson brought this up in his interviews, the existential risk of AI. And that's something which sounds like it's almost out of a science fiction film, like Terminator or something, but it is possible, and, and Geoffrey Hinson is saying this, that AI could actually end up wiping out humanity if we allow it to become too powerful. And that, you know, sounds... How, how does that happen? Uh, well, over time, we develop AI, we develop it into um, a much more intelligent uh, um, uh, phenomenon, being, phenomenon yeah. whatever you want to call it, than us. Um, and we start giving it power in various different ways. We start uh, giving it access to uh, uh, energy, we start giving it access to financial transactions, we start giving it access to weapons. And this might happen from uh, you know actors that are not necessarily you know responsible this might happen right you know countries using it for uh, uh, war and, and, and so on um, and if it becomes more intelligent than, than we do and if it becomes uh, uh, able to improve itself and able to kind of trick humans and be more intelligent than them we could end up in a situation like we're in with I don't know chimpanzees where they can't possibly comprehend our intentions uh, and we allow them to exist because uh, because we because we want to, but we needn't necessarily. Okay, and I, there was me just being worried about whether a bot would be able to do my job or not. Um, <laughs> what uh, what can we do to protect ourselves? Uh, there are various different things we should be doing. I mean, the first thing is what Geoffrey Hinton is doing, admittedly in a rather technical way. He was on the BBC talking about uh, you know weights and models and stuff yesterday, which I didn't think was the best communication strategy. But simply raising awareness, I think, is is, is so important that this. Potentially, not now, but long term, could be a serious, a serious threat. In the same sense that nuclear weapons are a threat and climate change is a threat. So that's one thing. Um, also, I think um, collaboration between countries, uh, countries working together uh, on this, as they have for things like nuclear weapons, where they've made treaties, you know, to slow down the development. Um, and one other thing which has been brought up recently in that letter that Elon Musk and others signed is that we might want to ask AI developers to pause for a while and just try and work out exactly where this is going and make sure that the AI is aligned with the goals of humanity. What time scale are we talking about? Well, you know, just, just recently, even just in the last few years, people would have said, well, we won't get an, an intelligence that's more intelligent than humans for another 20, 30 years. But now we're talking in the next few years, people are, 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 uh, are uh, predicting. And, you know, already things like GPT-4 are vastly more intelligent at reasoning, producing arguments, producing persuasive essays, having conversations, uh, much more uh, advanced than we uh, could have predicted even just last year. Spokesman for AI might well say, yeah, but apart from that, we've done some really good things. Don't get me wrong, these are incredible uh, tools. These are going to revolutionise all sorts of areas. They're going to make things more efficient. They're going to make things better in all sorts of ways. Um, Already, you can you can use AI for, for for all sorts of really really useful tasks, jobs like mine. You know, research, administration stuff, uh, writing stuff, incredibly incredibly helpful, uh, and they will just become more and more advanced over time. But uh, there is, if we take our eyes off the ball and become complacent, then what Jeffrey Hinton is saying, and he's a serious guy and a kind of sober guy, not some kind of crank who's worried about this stuff. Um, it could easily be that, uh, that that we get into a situation where it gets out of our control and we stop being able to comprehend its intentions.